According to the ancient writings of the Sumerians, the Anunnaki were deities who descended from heaven, were a race of extraordinary beings, with great power and very advanced, in whose hands was the origin of humanity thousands of years ago. And like these writings on myths of the origin of creation, there are many more around the world, coming from different cultures and religions, in which it is said that we were created in the image and likeness of the Creator beings of flesh and blood that mixed their DNA to finally form the human species, in fact there were three deities, three very ancient gods of South America, which in the texts have been described with characteristics that do not correspond to the genetics of the region. These deities are Quetzalcoatl, Viracocha, and Kukulkan, they are described with a particularly wide forehead, large blue eyes and a grey-red beard. Due to the characteristics with which the gods have been described, Quetzalcoatl, Viracocha, and Kukulkan, has led to think that perhaps these Mesoamerican deities were somehow linked to the Anunnaki. The ancient cultures of the American continent, keep incredible stories and legends in which, the gods are described with similar characteristics, this includes the cultures of the Aztecs, Olmecs, Incas and even the Maya. They all describe the gods, who left the earth with the promise of returning one day. For the Incas, the god Viracocha is the god of creation, in fact it is one of his most important deities, because he is the creator of all things, and the curious thing about this god, is that the ancients described it very differently, with features that did not correspond to the natives of South America. With a beard and moustache, an appearance very similar to the gods of the ancient Sumerian. In the same way in which the god Viracocha was described with different characteristics to the inhabitants of South America, the Aztec deity known as Quetzalcoatl along with other deities, were also described as beings of white complexion, beards, large eyes and blue as well as high rise. When comparing these characteristics with that of the ancient Anunnaki we can observe with astonishment that they are quite similar. This is curious, since the Aztecs were possessors of a brown complexion, of average size, in fact they were not tall and also their eyes were brown or black. These similarities cause a series of questions to be generated, why the similarity? Will these beings be related to each other? despite belonging to different cultures, 